you besties hey how are you hey 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 welcome welcome so today i will be unraveling my hair doing a quiz face mask with you all oh i'm using uh the kills calendula petal infused mask <sighs> so how y'all doing so i want to share that time i went on a date with an asian guy i know y'all heard it right i went on a date with an asian guy and how was it so in my 20s i was traveling a lot I was, uh, the last time I did a big travel was in my 20s. I used to live in Australia, in case you didn't know. I was in Australia for a whole year. And the reason I went to Australia is because I wanted to be outside of the U.S. for a minute. I wanted to see what it's like to be outside of the U.S. I have only known Haiti and Miami. Uh, and I took a big leap of faith because I saw a friend of mine who left and traveled the world for three years and he inspired me and I was like, I'm out. I'm about to go travel. I'm going to enjoy my life. Although I do not know anybody in Australia, not a soul, not a soul. But one thing I'm convinced is I'm like, God will protect me. <laughs> That's what I told my mom when she asked me, where are you going? You're crazy. You're not going. She thought I was joking. Uh, until I call her and she'll and give her from my Australian number. And I'm like, mom, this is my Australian number. <laughs> this is when she knew I was serious that I left and moved to Australia. <laughs> but that's another story. So how did I meet my Asian guy that I dated? I was in my 20s and I met him to Tender Passport. Uh, so Tender is an app. So you all know about Tinder. You even seen the Netflix movies. So Tinder is an app where you meet guys, you swipe left and right, and you meet people. And uh, yep, I was on Tinder. So Tinder Passport is all about meeting people from different races and a different culture. You can also meet people from your own culture. But baby, I'm living in Australia. I don't, I don't see that many Haitians. And I was even thinking that I was the only Haitian there too, but okay. So when I match up with him, I was just, you know, swiping, swiping, swiping. You know when you're just swiping and you're like, nobody's matching? And when I match with him, I was like, oh, hold on, let's back up. I did match up with him? Okay. But I, I just like went to his page i'm like mm, let me look up what young tall look like mm, i'm like okay it's cute and <laughs> and i'm like is it for real like did i just match with an asian guy and yep it was for real <laughs> and he sent me a message he's like hey how are you and what I love about this approach, it was just, hey, how are you? It wasn't anything crazy like, hey, beautiful, hey, black queen, how I've been getting with some other guys. And I'm like, that was refreshing to have somebody say, hey, how are you? Just super simple. Super simple. Love that. And I answered that, hey, I'm great. And you? So the conversation was just like that. And uh, he just said, I'm well. And asked me where I'm from. I'm from Haiti. And I asked him, he's from Japan. And he's here for school. And me, I'm just here for travel. He said, like, hold on, you're here for travel. What do you mean you're here for travel? So I'm like, yeah, I took uh, a year off America. And here I am in Australia just to, just to see what's life outside of the U.S. And the conversation went really great, super smooth. And it was time for me to go to bed. And I say, well, I hope I get to talk to you again another time. And he said the same thing. Okay, fine. I went about my day the next day. I was not even worried about him. Because you know how some people on dating apps, they message you. And it's just that one time they wanted something. You know how Tinder is just known for the coochie coochie. Queenie, 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 queenie. Like just like that time. But that wasn't that with him. He actually messaged me back the next morning to see how I was. Hey, how was your night? How are you doing today? I answered by, hey, this is my day. I will be at work in a few. I was making breakfast. I did send him a picture of what I was cooking. And then he was like, oh, 
that's interesting i haven't had eggs uh, uh made this way so he doesn't really eat the scramble eggs i think his eggs he get them uh, do they call it upside down or something like that where the yellow is kind of like running kind of thing so this is how he get his eggs and i'm like oh one day i'll just make you eggs because my love language is cooking i would not oppose to cooking for young ta okay uh we kept in touch for the day we talked back and forth da 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 all this good stuff and i think he was eating his lunch and then he sent me what he was eating so it was like so cute you know this relationship that you wanted to leave in high school it was one of those things <laughs> a grown 24 year old and a 29 year old man we're just sharing pictures of food what we're eating or sharing pictures of like like the tram where we were on a train and stuff uh so after about four days he was like i would love to get to to meet you in person i was like how you know i'm not catfishing you <laughs> he's like okay let's just have a phone call just to make sure uh it's not catfishing so we had a phone call his voice was so smooth and my voice is smooth too okay my voice is smooth too man his voice was so smooth i love hearing young Ta on the phone like he's laughing oh it was it was a whole young little love thing that was going on and i was like prompt get a grip girl get a grip you know you ain't gonna be here for long in my head i was just like don't like i was just about to trick myself into like no you're not gonna be here for long and don't start anything you can finish and i was like girl just just enjoy the moment enjoy life it doesn't have to be forever but enjoy whatever it is so we talk on the phone it's like you know when you're talking and you feel like you're falling in love and stuff yeah just let it be and we went on a date he asked me when i was available what time will be good like the boy asked me on the date he took the lead and i was like oh marry me already <laughs> you know how we girls we do this thing we already got the name picked out the dress and everything and i didn't even go on the date yet but in my head it was already hobby yeah prime get a grip <laughs> So he chose that super amazing restaurant in Australia. It wasn't super expensive or anything like that. I'm in my 20s, honey. And at the time, I didn't... All I wanted was the good company, you know. The restaurant was great. We had this amazing boat. And he asked me, did I had uh, sushi before? I remember my first interaction with sushi was in Los Angeles. One of my roommates took me to eat raw fish. And I remember I was like, mm, what is this? Mm. And after that, I never ate it. And I also had wasabi. I think it's something spicy. It was like a green thing spicy. That was super spicy. But then again, it was like, okay, yeah, I'm gonna try it. So I tried it. He has this big boat. And throughout the whole thing, he kept explaining, this is what it is. This is how you do it. Me trying to hold up this chopstick. It was embarrassing. But you know what? it's okay it's okay it's a learning experience i was embarrassed with my chopstick but i still kept on with it okay i still kept on with it oh, i enjoy his company he was a nerd too he was super nerdy how he was talking about constellation i remember after this date we went outside and he took me to this spot where we could watch the stars and it was like so cute y'all it was so cute i was just looking at the stars and he was like explaining to me how this one was connected to that one baby i didn't hear nothing okay all i heard was like yeah mm -hmm. so when, when when are we having these kids that's what was in my head uh but he was so refreshing with him now uh, after this date we back we both went back to our place we met again a couple of times and he was being into his studies things didn't go far because i ended up leaving australia moving to a different place and he was there for school but what i really truly enjoy about dating young town and being friend with him was how gentle he was he was gentle he was attentive he was 
he teaches me things and that's something i really appreciate about a man teaching me things showing me things and young town although we are both doing different things we're not in the same country anymore if we ever see each other you never know i would love to you know to see how this can go but quick tips i could tell you girl when dating girls be open um be open to to know somebody different from your different culture and uh, you never know what's gonna happen be open have fun enjoy dating is for collecting data it's not for sleeping around some people think it's for sleeping around honey even if i was sleeping around this is none of your problem eh? rest so this is for collecting data enjoy have fun and y'all if you want to know if i give him the goodies if anything has happened let me know i could share a little bit more but y'all gotta let me know okay bye deals bye darlings until next time to do <laughs>